All right, so it's Ricky Repairs back at it again. So we have a 06 Ford Expedition, and after doing the transmission pan replacement and the transmission flush, the gears have improved a lot. And before I was uh, on the hills, it would struggle on the third or fourth gear. Now it doesn't do that no more, so I'm gonna give it a second flush. But now we have a drain plug, which is gonna be much easier compared to having to take the pan down, which is which is a uh, cause a lot of mess. It's not a big deal, but I'll show you how easy it is now to flush it. So we did replace the transmission filter so we won't do that now we're just gonna flush it all right let's go ahead and find the drain plug which we didn't have before now we do all right let's get started all right so in my other video i show how to replace the the pan for the transmission all right let's get under the car I already have my drain pan there there I don't know if you see that but that's the drain plug which makes life much easier all right let's go ahead and remove that bolt Now we just have to wait, let it drain. <laughs> Alright, so this is the second flush. I already flushed it, but as you can see, it's a little bit still dirty. Because I didn't flush it with the pressure flush. So it's better, I believe it's better like this. So I can recirculate with the new one. And after that, just go ahead and give it a second flush. But yeah, as I was uh, mentioned earlier, before it, it was struggle on, I believe it was fourth gear, but now it doesn't struggle no more. So yeah, it's good now. It's good as new again. Now we just have to wait until that flush is all the way. So yeah, that's all it takes after you replace the transmission pan. Now it's much easier. After that finish, just go ahead and put back your drain plug and clean there. All right, just gonna wait. Go ahead and wipe the drain plug. Just gonna put it back. Put a hand tighten first. After that, tiny with your ratchet. Enough. Just go ahead and wipe down there. 
All right, so that was about less than 10 minutes. So I highly recommend replacing the transmission pan. All right, now let's go ahead and add our transmission fluid. All right, let's go ahead and remove the dipstick. Let's put that to the side. All right, let's put our funnel in there. Let's go to add the transmission fluid now. We'll go ahead and add four quarts. Go check the level. See that's nice and red. So I'm using the Motorcraft, the original. You don't want to pour it all at once. Just going to take your time. Let's grab the second quart. The second part. Let's go ahead and add a third part. Let's go to add the fourth quart. After this one, I'm gonna check the level. Let's go ahead and turn on the car so the transmission fluid could circulate. Don't be afraid to turn on your car. I'm right, just going to do that. You might want to remove this. Alright, so for this part, go ahead and uh, change the gears and leave it there for about 20 to 40 seconds each gear, and then go back and do, do the same thing. All right, so what I said was go ahead and change the gears. Have it there for 20, 30 seconds. The reason we're doing this is so the transmission fluid could start circulating. And you want to have your feet on the brake. And then same thing, wait there for 20, 30 seconds. And then go back and do the same thing. All right, so do, do it about two or three times. And then after that, just go ahead and check your the transmission fluid level on your dipstick all right so let's go ahead and check the level now all right all right let's go ahead and check the level now So 
is about right here. Go ahead and test drive the car around the town. So the transmission fluid can circulate all the way. So it shows about right here. So since we are over the limit, we're supposed to be, we just drain a little bit more. Cause it should be over here. Try to fix that camera. The thing is that it's right here on the level it's supposed to be right here between these little lines i'm not sure why the camera's not zooming in all right so by the looks of it i added a little bit more than i was supposed to hopefully Let's see all right there you go all right, so it looks like it's about right here. And it would, it's supposed to be right here, in between right here and right there. But it's right here. Yeah, right about right here. Right there. So hopefully if I run in town, the transmission fluid circulates all, all around. It's right there. And now I'm gonna have to flush it again. Drain a little bit, slightly, any, but yeah. All right, so this is why we make these videos, so you guys don't have to do this. But it's not bad because we got the drain plug. All right, let's go ahead and drive it. We'll be back. All right, so as you saw, it seemed that we overfilled it, but I'll show you after running it about roughly 30 miles in the freeway and what, five miles in town, I'll show you that the transmission fluid circulated and it's right on the spot. I'm gonna show you right now. All right, so it's right here. Right on spot. Right there. All right, let's go ahead and clean that. Let's go ahead and wipe it down and put it back in there. It's right there. All right, so there you have it right there before I ran it it seemed that we overfilled it it was all the way up here it was all the way over here and now we have it where we want it in between right here this line's right here and right here so it has to be in between right here so we have it in the middle right here so we should be fine all right, so I added, so now with the new drain plug, we would just uh, remove the drain plug, and then I added four cords. You saw, it's right in the spot. It took less than, I wanna say 15 minutes. That includes the waiting time for it to flush. All right, so there you guys have it. So I have a video on how to replace the transmission pan. If you want to go ahead and do that and the filter as well. All right, so there you guys have it. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.